Okay, here's a small video on how to create folder tracks within Studio One. But it's also easy to remove the folder tracks if you don't want them. Firstly, I'm just going to pack, this is a session here, and I'm just going to pack these tracks here down the bottom. I've got three vocal tracks, for example. And uh, these are the dark blue tracks here. And I'm just going to put them into a folder so that they're nice and neat inside a folder. So I click on the tracks that I want to go in. I can shift click each one like this. Or I can click the first track in the group and hold down shift and click the last track in the group. And they're all selected. Simply right click here and click pack folder. So the tracks all go inside a folder now, which is this track 12. We can double click on this and name it. And we can also colorize the folder too to make it the same as what the tracks were. So there they are. There's the folder track there. And when you open it, you've got three tracks inside the folder now. Not sure what Steve was talking about with uh, dummy tracks. The only tracks that should be inside a folder track are the ones that you put in there. So we can close this now and open it and so on. If you don't even want to see the folder track in the session, you can right click it and click hide track and it'll actually disappear from the arrange window. But the music will still play, of course. To get it back, we've got to open the console again and make sure this is clicked down here. And as you can see, the tracks that I pulled out are greyed out, but when I bring them back on again, you'll see that the folder track has reappeared. So there's our folder track. Now there are several ways of removing a folder track and leaving the original tracks that were inside it as they were before. The easiest way is to simply open or close the folder track, right click it and simply click on remove track. And what happens here is, as you can see, the folder track is gone and the three audio tracks that were originally inside the folder track are back to just in the session where they were, so that's good. There's also a second way of getting tracks out of a folder very easily, and what you can do is simply open the folder like this, and I've selected the tracks. I just select all the tracks within the folder, the same as I did before, and you can click the whole group here, and I'm just going to drag them outside the folder downwards. And this is what happens here. The tracks actually remain outside the folder now, and the folder track is, is empty. In fact, it won't even open. So you can right-click this and then also click Remove Track. And uh, there you go. You're right back to where we were. But removing the whole track, as I did earlier, is a good way of doing it. But you, you may have one track inside a folder that you don't want in there for some reason because it's accidentally got in there. And uh, it's very easy to simply remove a track from within a folder. I'll just put this back here. And um, I'll just create the folder track as it is. Supposing this uh, Spanish guitar was in there by accident. So I'll just drag the Spanish guitar down into the vocal folder. And there it is down there. And I think, oh, I don't want that Spanish guitar in there because it's not a vocal. All you simply do is open the folder and select the track that is the Rogue track that's in there and simply grab it while the folder's open and drag it outside. And then it's done. So now the Spanish guitar is outside the folder and the folder tracks have only got the vocals in there, as you would. And of course... You can grab this and move it around as well if you want to change the position of things. Hope that all helps.